Oh, thank you so much for staying with us. And again, thank you to our sponsors. We want to put a shout out um, to a group that we met um, actually last week at a ordering show that uh, we went to to order things for next year for the show. Uh, We ran into this great couple selling gloves um, and they sell Kinko gloves. So actually we placed an order with them and they have some of the most adorable kids gloves. So we will have them um, very soon. Um, These kids gloves are great. We have them in like leather gloves so that they can actually help you in the garden with the roses. Um, Some ones that have the um, rubber type gloves that they can stay dry and help you in the gardens weeding. These are some of the most adorable gloves, but they also have great um, gloves for if In the wintertime. So if you're out um, shoveling snow, um, these gloves are rubber lined, but they're insulated. So they're going to keep your hands warm and dry. They also have these amazing rose gloves. They're leather on the hand part, but they have this heavy canvas that goes up your arm just about to your elbow. So that when you're in there cleaning out your roses or cleaning out your barberry, Your arms are protected as well as your hands. They're great fitting gloves. I fell in love with this line. So we want to put a shout out there um, to Kinko Gloves. Um, Just loving um, what they have. And come on over to the store. Check them out. I think that you, um, your children, um, they're going to make some great, great gifts. Um, If you have a little gardener that um, wants to help you in the garden, these gloves are going to be um, out outrageously um, useful as well as adorable for the kids. Don't forget about next weekend. We are so excited about our 17th annual um, fall festival. We have so much going on. We are setting up today um, like crazy, getting everything ready for next Saturday. We have a pumpkin carving station. We have a scarecrow making station. We have our haunted maze. We have face painting. We have a guest station, and that guest station is set up for guess the weight of different things, guess how many of things are in different types of jars and cans, just very, just so much fun. We have a new scavenger hunt this year. Um, Scavenger hunts are always fun, but the scavenger hunt is going to take you all over um, the farm and the greenhouses, in and outside. It's just going to be so much fun. Um, And then also you'll be uh, on the scavenger hunt this year is all of us, all of our team um, are going to be dressed in different costumes and you're going to be finding us, uh, noting on your scavenger hunt where you found us and then um, deciding which one you like the best, which costume, and then we're going to be giving a gift out to um, the team member that got the most votes for their costume. Um, We also have the Haunted Maze, and Devin has done an amazing job um, changing up the Haunted Maze this year. It's just going to be so much fun. Um, He took down walls and made new walls and put ceilings in and added just all kinds of so much fun stuff. So that's going to be great. We have food trucks coming. Um, We have a barbecue truck coming with loaded fries. We have a dessert truck coming. Um, that do, they specialize in stuffed funnel cakes. So this is going to be a great one. We're just so excited about that. And then Monique and Dave um, are coming back again to get ready for um, the sauerkraut. They're going to be starting our sauerkraut for us. So um, just so excited about that. Just a great group of people helping us um, put this uh, fall festival together. We're also going to have the hay rides. Um, We're going to be doing um, horse rides. Our horse Morgan has been practicing, taking kids on rides, um, adults on rides. Um, Lexi and Bree have just been amazing uh, working with him over the last few weeks. And so Morgan, our horse, is just ready to give rides the whole day long. So we're very excited about that. And then just in three weeks from today, the first winter indoor farmer's market will begin. 
So that is November 2nd, um, and we have some great new vendors that's going to be with us. Um, And several of these vendors are going to be with us next weekend, so you'll have a sneak peek at some of the vendors that are going to be um, coming to the Winter Farmer's Market. So we have some new vendors, um, a coffee vendor um, that's going to be selling um, coffee. We have a vendor that's making handmade toys. What great Christmas gifts, handmade toys toys. Um, So he's going to be with us. And um, Don's very excited about um, coming to our winter market. He did um, attend some of the markets for Plain Township. So our our market is just very unique. It's made up of vendors from three or four different um, vendors um, from different markets throughout a tri-county area. So it's just going to be a, a lot of fun. We have produce and honey crafters, um, artisans, bakers, essential oil, homemade products, um, of course, eggs and meat, and all of those things that you can get at Anthony Petiti Organic Greenhouse anytime. But we have special ones that are coming in for the farmer's market. So we are just very excited about that. Remember, it's going to be the first and third Saturday of each month starting November 2nd. And we'll go through the third Saturday of March, which is March 21st. So very excited um, about that. Um, Had a couple more questions that we wanted to answer for you. And um, Carol had a question about her poinsettia. And actually, Carol brought photos of her poinsettia in. Last year, Carol was given a poinsettia. And she's tried this in the past, but um, had not... um, brought it in. So in the past, she got a poinsettia, kept it throughout the season. Um, In May, when it was warm enough, she planted it in the ground, let it grow all summer long. But when the frost came, she just let it die outside. She didn't bring it in. Well, this year, she brought me a photo of it. um, And it is enormous. She says it's about 36 inches across, and it is absolutely beautiful. Of course, though, it's not getting any heat, so it hasn't started changing color. So poinsettias need heat, and they need to be in the light when it's light out. They need to be in the dark when it's dark out to change color. So Carol's question was, how can I dig it up and bring it in? Because I don't want it to die this year. So... um, We got Carol all set up. So if you have this issue, or maybe you have a poinsettia, um, but Carol is going to be digging hers out of the ground. Um, She's getting a big pot. Um, Since it's coming out of the ground, it's going to have a lot of earth on it, a heavier soil. So you want to make sure that the pot is good and big that you have to put it in, quite a bit bigger than the ball of soil, so that you have room to put a nice light potting mix on the bottom. And that you, once you put it in the pot, you can get a, quite a bit all the way around that soil ball of light potting mix so it won't get stifled in that pot. And then get it in where it's nice and warm. And then, like I always say, a spare room is the best place to keep it because it has no artificial light in the evenings when it's starting to get dark and we have our lights on in our homes, in our normal living areas, kitchens, family room, all of those. In a spare room, the lights stay off most of the time. Um, And so during the day, right in front of the window, it's going to get all the light. Maybe turning it every once in a while won't be a bad idea. But in the in the evenings and at night when it's dark, it's going to be in the dark. So that's going to be a great um, place to have it. So Carol is going to keep me up to date on how her poinsettia is changing color. And we're very excited. But it was really neat to see her photos of her poinsettia still in the ground, planted right beside her porch. Um, and so we're real excited about that. But thanks, Carol, for bringing those photos in. And hopefully the tips that I gave her, is just what I told you now, um, it works out very well for her so that she is going to be able to have a beautiful poinsettia and then she said next year hopefully she can plant it in the ground again and then she said by then it'll probably be so big her husband won't be able to get it in the house and so um, they might be able to just if they 
can keep it, bring it to us, and we will keep it for the winter for them, which is a service that we offer. So if you have a tropical plant, um, a house plant that you don't have room for or that you just don't want to try to bring in and keep over the winter, or maybe you go away for the winter and you need someone to take care of your house plants or your tropical plants, your fruit trees that um, are from the tropics, all of your citrus, you can bring them over to Anthony Petiti Organic Greenhouse and we will rent space to you to keep them for the winter. We take care of them for you. Um, We do um, ask that when you bring them to us, um, you leave them outside so that we can spray them with an organic insecticide so we don't bring any insects in. And um, we watch them. We water them. Um, If you want to have them fertilized um, to keep them going strong during the winter, we offer that as well. But we uh, store a lot of plants. Um, Mr. Mark Gehring um, had five huge palm trees and tropicals brought in uh, this past week. Um, Thanks to his amazing landscaper, Brian, from Greenerscapes, they go to Mark's house, pick up all of his plants, bring them to the greenhouse, and we store them. Uh, for the winter. Um, So if you have plants or if you need your plants, if they're so big, um, like Mr. Gehring's plants, um, that you can't get them, um, I'm sure that uh, Brian will come and get your plants for you for a fee and bring them to the greenhouse for you also. But we can watch those plants for you um, all winter long, and then we can get them back to your house um, to you, or you can come and pick them up um, in the springtime when they're ready to go back outside. So if you want more information about that, or if you have questions about that, please feel free to give us a call at 330-455-5997. You can email me your information or with pictures of your plants that you need to overwinter or with questions at Cindy Petiti. That's C-I-N-D-Y-P-E-T-I-T-T-I at gmail.com or just stop in at the store with your questions or uh, the information you need about your plants um, at 5828 Columbus Road. We're right there on the corner of Columbus Road and Broadway in Nimishillen Township. Don't forget this weekend I'm going on right now is the Algonquin Mill Festival. It started yesterday. It's going on all day today and um, tomorrow as well. So it's going that's a great festival down in Carroll County. Um, If you've never been before, jump online and get some information about that. It's a great festival. Next weekend um, is our fall festival. So much fun. So much going on around the community um, in the fall. But mark your calendars. If you have any questions about the fall festival, um, or if you would like to be a vendor at the fall festival or at the farmer's market, give us a call 330-455-5997. Thank you so much for being with us. But just like always, we'll be back here with you next Saturday morning right here, 8 o'clock, right here on the light, 95.9. Have a blessed week.